What is up guys, Real Touch Gmail here, back with another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be on ammo, uh, and displaying your ammo, how much ammo you have, just pretty much ammo. Uh, so, I've created a player, uh, I just made a simple blue circle sprite like you were looking uh, at a top down view. I made a wall sprite, but in the player object, I made it so that he could just move. It's a direction moving. I have a tutorial out there. Uh, the link will be in the description. And I made him just shoot this bullet. Um, I just made the bullet in as a sprite. It's 8 by 8 I also made this room. I just put him in. And let me show you. what uh just really made it so we just shoots and now we are going to display ammo i use the space bar to shoot so we're going to go ahead and display some ammo so we're going to create a controller so create an object I'm just going to call it obj ammo i'm not going to give it a sprite sorry about that guys i'm not going to give it a sprite but uh in the create event, we're going to set global dot ammo to equals we'll say fifteen. You can have it whatever number you'd like. Now in the draw event, we're going to do draw text uh, x dash y dash, and then we're going to do uh, Quotations, ammo equals, and we're going to do plus string global dot ammo. Whoops. Alright, there we go. So, what this does is it draws the text on the screen at wherever we position the object. It's going to say ammo equals, and then it's going to give. Uh, our variable and what it equals right now we set it to 15 so it'll say ammo equals 15 now we have to have this string here if we did not have this string here it would not we would get an error because it is a number not uh, not letters so if we was letters we would not need this string so we don't put that in the room is it in there? I'll just place it right there, but you know what I mean. We can actually. Sorry about this. We can just set it to zero, zero. Alright, so now if we test it out. You can see it displays our ammo up top. Yeah, it's in. Uh, it's in black, so you can't really see it, but it says ammo equals 15. You can actually change the color out real quick. I say you can draw set color. C, white, and you can do whatever really color you want. But now that we have that, uh, when he shoots, it, the ammo's got to go down. So, when he shoots, here's what we're going to do. We're going to type in this code. If global dot ammo is less than one then uh no I'm sorry greater it should be greater than one uh it's going to display this and we're going to set global Oops. Yeah. Global dot ammo to minus equal one. Else, global dot ammo equals zero. So, 
I might have this mixed around. Sorry, guys, if it is. But it's basically checking if the ammo is larger than one. It's going to create the bullet and it's going to set the ammo down one. If it is lower than one, it's going to set it to zero because we don't want to go negative in ammo. That would just be weird. So let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, I got it mixed around. Sorry, guys. You want this. My bad. I'm sorry. It's like 1 a.m., so. Sorry. Alright, so, as you can see, when I shoot, my ammo goes down. When I get to zero, uh, you can't really see, but I'm pressing space, but it's not letting me shoot. Now, you can pick up, like, say, ammo crates, and all, all you would really do for the, um... All you would really do for the code, I'll probably have an annotation on the screen right now, would you would just do uh, global.ammo plus equal whatever the amount, like 5 or 10 bullets. So yeah, that is my ammo tutorial. Um, be sure to subscribe if you like my tutorials, and uh, like this if you want, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial, which will probably be... Uh, advanced boss you know i have my basic boss so i'm gonna have my advanced boss tutorial so that's what this guy's for so yeah next time see ya